So, very busy here. We're in the <laughs> my Ganga's here. Sunset. This is the perfect time to do yoga, isn't it? Um, just really been a tough day, and it's really nice to know that we have yoga. Hmm. Boy, this way. Sit down. Sit. So we have yoga. We can do yoga, and we can relax from the very stressful day. And you always have your mat. No matter what happens, there's something stable in your life, and that's your yoga mat and your exercises. And just putting nice music on and disconnecting from my environment. And hopefully this will be a nice practice. Um, really beautiful. See a lot of ducks here. All, all the animals are like about to get sleep. It's a really good time to... I'm not a morning person, so I decided to do sunset. The best times to do yoga are sunrise or sunset. Sunrise is more challenging, especially in winter. So we're going to go for sunrise, a sunset. Sunrise would be probably ideal, I imagine, but I really can't get up in that time. And plus, it's torture for the dogs and got to go to work. And sunrise is just, even though it's not that early in winter, it's still quite difficult to get the dogs going. Um, Shelby needs to be carried. It takes me a long time to get outside to a park or the beach. So sunset is the ideal time. Also relax and unwind before nighttime. And it's also important because sunrise usually in mornings are very quick and very fast paced. You gotta get a lot of things done. And try to get, eat a healthy breakfast, feed the animals, walk them, and it's just, I just don't have the mindset to do yoga. Of course, it would have been ideal to do both, or at least but we'll try one time to do both. I don't know if I can. I don't, during the corona lockdown, I did manage to do both. So, dogs are barking, birds are singing, life is happening here, definitely. Behind me, girls practicing gymnastics again outside. Really nice to see all the energy going on. And uh, I'm just going to start with the salutation to the sun and my regular asanas for Shivananda School of Yoga. I rarely change. I did a lot of yoga with the kids, but that's very quick paced. And I find that it's not enough it's different when you do your own practice every teacher has to also uh, practice on their own unless they give adult classes in which they can practice probably much more a deeper sort of yoga going within um there's the group energy but there's also the to be with yourself energy so peace and love i'm wishing you a wonderful day and it's now um Already the 3rd of December, it's the end of the work week for me. I'm looking forward to Friday, Saturday, and then Sunday again. Um, going from one place to another, pretty much the gypsy kind of lifestyle at this point, but at least it's work, and then hopefully I can, it will continue until I find something more suitable. The moment I haven't found something suitable, so I'm happy just to to have some income coming in would be really good hopefully everything will work out well with the taxes and everything won't devour too much of my work and it's a it's it's absurd how much taxes you pay for such a small amount of money and i'm definitely open to leaving but on the other hand where do you get weather like this on the december 3rd where do you get weather like this where you can be outside and exercise and it's such a different energy. Even if I had a bigger apartment, it's completely different when you're outside under the sky. Um, nature, rather than to be uh, inside a room. Not just the corona, just any time. It's just different energy. It's so nice here. So I, I wish everybody to be outside in nature. Uh, this is my little piece of nature. It's a river. And I think Ganges, I haven't been to India, but 
can't be more polluted than the Ganges. And yet, whatever we thoughts we give, we put in when we get those reactants. As you see, kids are growing. This is a very polluted river, and it's nice to know that people are. You see a lot of kids growing now. And it's really nice. There's no reason why you shouldn't be outside exercising. There's definitely two meters between people. And I think the whole corona scare is completely uh, hysterical. Here it's, you know, every time I hear the news, it's another doomsday. More people died. And oh, look at the bird out there. And, you know, you can't live like that. Certainly the elderly population needs to worry. But, you know, the rest of us have to live. And I think elderly people also don't move around so much. And to take little kids and force them to stay home and not go to school, I don't know. I just think it's crazy. I think the elderly people should stay in and the other pe the rest of the population should be able to continue their um, life. I'm kind of borderline elderly soon, I guess. Um, but I don't feel it. I really don't feel old. Oh, I feel very young and hard. That's what matters. Look at the cute ducks. I'm a bit beautiful. Peace, I love.